My name is Emma Anna Spracklin and I work in the international team as a international digital campaign manager, mainly working for the DACH market, so Germany, Austria and Switzerland. I'm Nina Fischer, I'm also part of the international team and I work as a German digital campaign manager here at Search Labs. So I'm responsible for all the German market activities um, and provide recommendations um, for our clients. I'm working for clients who are operating in, for example, Germany and making sure that ads are localized and appropriate for that market or if that's their, that their content is um, good um, for the market. So basically everything is relevant for Germany and making sure that everything is localized. Even though Germany um, has a really high English proficiency, search queries do appear more so in German. It doesn't mean that they don't appear at all in English, but you should also consider that, yes, there is a keyword, for example, for PPC or for SEO that has a high search volume in English. Also look up the German equivalent because it might also have a really high search volume. As an example, we have Digital Twin. It has a uh, search volume of 3,600 in English. The German translation, the Digitaler Zwilling, has a search volume of 2,900. So always make sure that, that both languages are considered, especially that German is considered. So that's really, really important in localizing. Part of our job is also to provide recommendations on the website optimization. For example, for the German market, it's always important to make sure that all the legal requirements are in place. Well, for Germany, um, having an imprint is mandatory and um, it should always be on the footer. And if it's not included, that's basically a big trust sign for Germans. So when they check the website and they can see that there is no imprint, they might think that um, they can't really trust the website. So in general, Germans tend to be a bit more risk averse. An imprint has several informations about the owner of the website. So there needs to be like a name, an address, terms and condition page, or the data and privacy um, regulations. They can all be in place uh, on in the footer, but they just need to have like, they have to be on the imprint page. This is why it's very important to include trust signals on the website. So for example, what we always advise our, uh, our clients to do is to get a, a trusted budge because we know for a fact that the conversion rate increases when having a trusted budge on the website. So yeah, any trust signals you can include um, is definitely something that helps um, to increase the conversion rate. So in general, it is really important when you're reaching out to um, German publications to make sure that the sources used in those PR campaigns are trustworthy and re reliable. So, if, uh, for example, statistics, data, survey results yeah, are really important. Um, for example, when we did a PR campaign in the German market in the past, we always make sure to include expert comments or we did a survey on specific topics to get data about this topic. We saw that this always worked quite well, so we got more links, for example, when we did a digital PR campaign. Use ex expert opinions, um, data, survey results, anything that adds more authority to the campaign to reach out in the German market. It's really important and works quite well. <laughs> Definitely adds more authority.